Hey guys, this is Kevin from Dynamite Performance. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on uh, how things are progressing with Infamy. Uh, obviously over the winter, or the Christmas holidays rather, uh, things tend to slow down. So we haven't really got as far as we would have liked to since the last update. But uh, I think now that the holidays are over, um, that uh, we'll have a lot more time to work on it now. So in the bed, uh, we've got uh, our battery cables run for our battery. Um, we haven't got it tied down yet. Uh, we are getting a tray. Um, you see right there, we've got a hole going down through. Uh, and again, uh, just kind of in raw form right there. Uh, we are going to put a grommet around the hole because you never want to put uh, battery cables through a bare hole like that. Uh, you risk the wires rubbing on the uh, box and you will end up shorting out eventually. So we just got it up there just to make sure we had uh, power. In the back here we, uh, we put a, uh, a disconnect in just in case anything does go wrong when we're on the track. So we will be able to quickly turn it off. A lot of the work we've done since the last time is underneath. You see there are the bottom of the fuel cell. We've got our feed and return lines hooked up. Uh, from the feed side, first it goes into a 100 micron filter, then an AEM fuel pump, and then a 10 micron filter. Now, uh, from research that we've done, uh, a lot of people recommend using the 100 micron filter before the pump just because uh, a lot of people like to run foam inside the uh, the fuel cell just to keep the fuel from sloshing around and you don't want any of that debris getting into the pump. Okay, see our red battery cable there, we do need to uh, tie that up. But uh, we've got all the fuel lines uh, where we want them and we've got them secured down. So we'll just go up to the front here. Here's our regulator. Um, I don't know if we're uh, set on that position yet but uh, we just kind of wanted to get it in place somewhere where we can get things connected to get it going. Uh, here's our, uh, our feed and return lines there. Uh, we still need uh, a short piece to go to the uh, fuel rail and uh, we ran out of hose so we uh, we had to get some and plus we needed a fitting to go from uh, AN to the uh, fuel line. Uh, we've taken the hood off for now. We're going to take the uh, the hinges off and just run uh, four uh, hood pins. There's the hood there sitting on the back of my old girl. Uh, not much has changed inside here. I uh, did manage to get the uh, the airbags out of the uh, the steering wheel and the passenger side. Now I do urge you, if you are doing this job, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that go over the complete procedure. Please, please do watch them because this can be dangerous. Uh, there's still a few more things we'd like to get out. In an ideal world, we'd like to get the, the heater core out, and there is an amp in there too that uh, we should be able to get out without, uh, without too much trouble. Uh, so basically, the next time, uh, we're going to get those uh, fuel lines hooked up to the regulator, get hooked up to the fuel rail, get some power to the fuel pump, and we're going to see if it uh, starts. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video, and uh, keep up to date with us, uh, either on the website or on our YouTube channel. Okay, guys, take care.